Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I will show you how you can fix if you're having issues with creating projects on the Pixart app. So if you have any issues with that, here's how you can easily fix this. So let's just jump straight into it. All right, so you're having issues with the Pixart app. Here's how you can really easily fix that. All you need to do is go into the Pixart app and you're trying to create a post, but this isn't working. Here are two really easy ways to fix this. The first one is going to this purple button right here. What you need to do is you need to allow Pixart access to your photos in order to create posts and projects. For some reason, it doesn't give you a pop-up when you're trying to create a post and you don't have this enabled. So go like I just did on the purple button, go to photos and make sure that all photos are enabled. The second thing you wanna try if you're still not able to create posts on Pixart is scrolling down to general, clicking on iPhone storage, waiting till this is loaded. Now scrolling down till you find the Pixart app and what we're going to do is we're going to click on offload app. What this is going to do, this is going to clear the cache of our Pixart app and this will fix a lot of issues you're having with Pixart. So now just wait a few seconds till it's loaded back, all your documents and data will still be there. This is just a really nice way to clear the cache of any app or in order to just hard reset the app without all your data being lost. So yeah, now we just wait a few seconds till it's reinstalled. This shouldn't take more than a few seconds. We can also check the process simply by going to the app. We can see right here the process, it's almost downloaded and it's downloaded. And like I said, I'm still logged into my account as you guys can see right here. I'm still logged into my account. All my projects are still here. And now I can simply create a post over on Pixart and it will now be working. So yeah. I hope I gave some useful information in this video and I hope you learned something from this video. If you did so, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel and I hope I will see you in my next video.